Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. So right there I did kind of this semi-exaggerated pullback with the finger wave. Uh, so that means, you know, when I do that, that signifies that we have a Taco Bell review that's coming up. Now, I know that plain noise that you're hearing is symbolizing perfectly what you're feeling right now in this very instant. You're saying, Review Pa, why is the KFC bag instead of a Taco Bell bag? It's a KFC Taco Bell, but you know, you can pretend that, that being the, the quirky memester uh, that we all know that I am, you can just say, oh, I went to KFC and then I swapped out the bag and I was messing around, you know, just to, just to throw you off this time around, you know, just to, just to do it. But, you know, the truth is it's just a KFC Taco Bell and that's, that's why they gave me the bag that they gave. But either way, we'll turn it like this. So now you can pretend that it's just a, a Taco Bell bag in disguise. <laughs> but either way, Taco Bell has brought back the double chalupa. It's back. It's here. I don't know if it's better than ever. It might be worse than ever, but maybe it's better than ever. We we have no clue. Maybe it is, right? What is on it? Beef, lettuce, tomato, nacho cheese, sour cream, and a three cheese blend uh, for $3.49. That's the price. The double chalupa. Now, they were originally going to give it a different name, believe it or not, because sometimes with uh, various series, you know, they'll say, whatever, it's uh, the Double Chalupa, the Triple Double Crunch Wrap, uh, you know, whatever, blah, 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 Supreme, and so on and so forth. They were originally going to call this the Double Quadruple Chalupa, and then to kind of make it like a little bit interactive for the customer, if you kind of plug it into the quadratic equation and you run it through, it'll come out as the double chalupa. Uh, and they were going to try to do that, but then they just settled on the double chalupa, but it's back. It's a chalupa, double the fun, double the flavor. We got it there. See, now you can see the crushed fire sauce packet right there, so you know what's, what's up. Double Chalupa. <laughs> there. It's in the protective foil, you know, precious cargo. <laughs> Who knows why? There it is, though. Double Chalupa. And uh, you know what I'm going to do real quick? Well, I'm at it. I'm not going to do any sort of edit. I want to get some more light right there where the, uh, so you can just see it better. So just excuse me real quick. Let me just do this. There we go. Now, see, now you can see it slightly better. But there it is. Double chalupa right there. Yeah, you can see, though, what it always reminds me of is like a giant, I don't know, boat type of thing. You know what I mean. But there it is. It's loaded with the toppings, loaded with flavor. And uh, I'm going to try it out for you. It's, oh, well, it's there. I don't know about the structural integrity of it, but we'll try to eat it. You know, this will be fun. You know what's in it. I know what's in it. We all know what's in it. And uh, we'll see how it is. But double chalupa from Taco Bell, going in. Let me just show you something real quick here. Sorry about this lighting. 
But if you look at that, there, there's no meat. There, there's nothing. It's just toppings. And that's it. There's no, I just don't see any meat, uh, which is disappointing, but it is what it is. I'll keep biting in, but that's disappointing. Let's try this angle here. I mean, when I do these reviews, if I like the item, I like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. Sorry just for being so haphazard here, but you can see once again, and like, for how big it is, there's like, there's barely any meat. Uh, and that's disappointing right there. Like, I see a tiny little bit of meat right there, and then you just have right here this, the sour cream, right? That's just disappointing, like... I remember in the past, right, I used to have a different viewpoint on Taco Bell. I was like, if there's any of these toppings, if there's any of this uh, nacho cheese or the sour cream, right, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm not going to like it. I'm not going to be a fan of it. And it's like a slop. Now I'm kind of like, well, hey, if it all blends together, it's okay. You can't judge a book by its cover. It is what it is. And, you know, it might not be the end of the world. I'm just disappointed this time around. You know, I don't care if there's a lot of sour cream or cheese or tomatoes or whatever that's on it. As long as there's a sufficient amount of that seasoned beef to balance it all out, it's okay. It's not, not a problem. But when you bite in and all that you're getting is this slop with practically no meat in there, you know, I just kind of, I, I get frustrated. I'm like, what am I paying for exactly? Um, because the whole point of the double chalupa is for it to have, right, double the seasoned beef. It's supposed to have more beef, and then if it has more toppings to balance it out, whatever, that's fine, right? If it's made properly, it's supposed to blend together and taste good. Uh, but it just, it irks me when I take a bite out of it, and all I get is this mouthful of toppings, and you know, you know how it is, so. You can see on the other end isn't much better. Not much beef to be seen there either. I'm just gonna go and take a bite out of here. If it falls apart, it falls apart, but I just wanna see if there's any more beef anywhere else. I mean, a little bit more, at least, but I'm disappointed, you know? Really messy, of course. Doesn't taste all that bad, but that's not the point, right? The point is that when there's an item that's marketed based on portion size, and that's what the focus is. That's what, that, that's what's supposed to make you go out and get it, right? That's what's supposed to make it more special than, you know, your regular standard chalupa. I'll get more beef, and maybe a little more of everything, but especially the seasoned beef. That's why I'm gonna pay a little more, um, because that's what I intend to get. And then you get ripped off, and I feel like there was even less meat in this than you would even get in a regular chalupa. How can you not be frustrated? Because you feel cheated. You feel like you were ripped off. Uh, and I'm really disappointed this time around, quite frankly, because... Yeah, it's a sloppy mess, but that's how some items are. Um, but again, it's one thing if that's what it is. Um, you know, you could be ready for it. And everything that you wanted is there, and it tastes good, right? It's no problem. But you get it, it's a disaster. And then there's barely any meat in it, so it's extremely lopsided, and it's drenched in the sour cream and the cheese and all of that, and there's this 
almost no seasoned beef in any bite to balance it out and give it that equilibrium, I mean, that's just a huge problem. So maybe it comes down to individual preparation, but I've been to many Taco Bells, you know, and this is something that I notice that I see happening more and more. And I'm not attacking Taco Bell. I'm not saying your chain is terrible and I'm never going to go. I like Taco Bell. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm rather fond of it. I've been going there more and more recently. Uh, but sometimes just the preparation irks me. When, you know, the whole point is to, to make an item with more beef and so on. Uh, and then they drop the ball big time on it. Uh, and that's just, it's disappointing to me personally. So Taco Bell, if you're, if you're watching this, if you are, you are. Um, I just wish there was more consistency. That's all that I'm saying. Because when there's not, it takes what should be a good item. I remember the first time I tried it, I enjoyed it, but the second time, because the preparation was just so bad, I'm just really, really disappointed, and, you know, can make what's supposed to be a good item terrible. So that's a big problem. So because of this, I mean, the one that I got, I'll give it a 3 out of 10. Again, very, very disappointing. But if you get it, and maybe it's supposed to have the proper amount of beef, right, it'll probably be much better. You know, probably blend together well. What bites I had, the seasoned beef was there, were okay. It was fine, nothing bad. Um, but it's just, look, it's just really disappointing. That's all, that's, that's all that I can say. I'll put a tiny bit of fire sauce on it, but it won't make much of a difference because the fire sauce goes best with the beef. I'm just disappointed. It's supposed to be a good item, something that I look forward to on the menu, kind of like the Triple Double Crunch Wrap, right? I like that because there's better portions and it balances out. This is what it's supposed to be and just poor execution can take a good thing and completely ruin it. So I'm disappointed, but you know what? Your Taco Bell might not be the same. Again, I notice this a lot, but that doesn't mean that's how it's going to be everywhere. So give it a shot if you want. And uh, just keep your fingers crossed that it'll have better preparation, because when I went, I was hoping for the best, and uh, unfortunately, they, they dropped the ball this time. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens going forward, but I'm just disappointed. So that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Thank you for watching, and yeah, just, you know, it goes to show. Poor execution can take a good idea and uh, make it quite bad. Thank you, and take care.